been a downriver nightmare for decades and now a way to make it less of a nuisance. Cameras are going to be going up at a number of train crossings where people have been getting stuck waiting for a train, sometimes as long as an hour. Yeah, frustrating. Mar McDonald is in Woodhaven with a look at the problem and the fix. Talk about serendipity. Take a look. Those cameras were gone poles so that you can see precisely this. You can't time it. You can't escape it. And you never know. We're going this way, so we're not too upset right now. When it will hit. I can sit here for anywhere up to a half hour to 40 minutes at times. It's just part of life if you're trying to get around Woodhaven. When you have a plan to go somewhere, if you get caught by that train, you're a half hour, 45 minutes behind. Which is why the city will be putting up cameras at King Allen and Van Horn Roads at the railroad crossings. The whole idea is to have a live feed on the city's webpage. You can see if you're going to get trapped before you ever commit to the route. The purpose of the cameras is simply to give people uh, uh, some help. We know it's not a fix. We know it doesn't solve the problem, but it should help the problem. Woodhaven police have no power to write these trains tickets either. A train would have to be stopped at a crossing for more than six hours before they could do anything. Those stopped are so aggravated, there is an entire Facebook page dedicated to getting stuck at the crossings. People actually look at their Facebook to see if people sitting at a train and go other ways. So what would be the permanent overall fix? Well, it would be an underpass. The problem is that underpass costs about $32 million. And so far, the city hasn't come up with a grant or a ballot proposal that's willing to pay for it. We're in Woodhaven. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.